everyone. All right, so happy Friday Eve. Yeah, we're doing it again. And this time I didn't really go with any of the things that I suggested before that I might do because I was inspired and that's always better, right? Okay, so I received two things from Birchbox. You can buy them in the shop and they're two pretty new things. I've seen these violet lips on a few YouTube videos before and they've been around for a while. I know you can get them at Sephora and all kinds of different places, but this is totally new to me and I got it in my Birchbox and it's in the Birchbox store, like both of these things are, and it's really interesting to me. It's called the uh, iRock Designer Liner and they're instant eyeliner tapes. Oh, that sounds scary, right? Tapes. Okay, and these are Violent Lips Temporary Lip Tattoos. And these are the pink glitterati, so they're pink glitter. It's like stick-on makeup. Have you guys noticed this? So, like, I'm all about the stick-on nail sticker things, like the Sally Hansen ones and stuff, or the Incoco. Love that brand, too. But this is a weird, like, little trend. I'm going to try out both of these for the very first time in this video. I'm pretty nervous about it. I hope it goes well. I've seen like half of a video about how to put these on and I have no idea how this is gonna go. I'm really really scared. Ah! That's why I don't have like a whole lot of makeup on. Like my brows are really light and I just have, uh, I don't have any eyeliner, eyeshadow or anything on the top. I have a little eyeliner on the bottom. I have mascara on but not a lot and I don't have anything on my lips so I feel naked first, but then um, I'm going to put these on and we're going to see how they work and <sighs> I'm nervous. Ooh. Okay, let's go. I'm going to do the eyeliner first because I don't know. I'm really scared of the lips. Okay, you get like four different styles and they're all like winged eyeliner. The idea is that this would be easier than actually like doing winged eyeliner, which you all know I'm obsessed with the winged eyeliner and I always use liquid liner. So let's see if this this is easy. How to eye rock. Okay, ensure the skin is clean, dry, and oil free. Peel the chosen eye rock designer liner from the backing sheet. Align with the eye to check fit. Trim excess at inner eye area if necessary. Apply to the skin and press firmly. Okay, this sounds kind of difficult. I brought this, my makeup wipes, and so hopefully this will help clean it off a little. Isn't this cute? Oh my god. Get me all oil free up there. I might as well do my lips at the same time. Oh, it feels so gross not to have anything on my lips. Okay, I'm gonna do the like semi crazy ones. Not the shortest ones, but oh my gosh, I'm really nervous you guys. What if I suck at this? It's got kind of a strange texture. Kind of like a sticker. I'm really scared. How do you know which side is which? It's so sticky. I'm really scared. And how do you take these off? <gasps> You're supposed to peel it off? Oh, I'm really scared. I feel like that's going to be really bad for my eye. Okay, so I'm measuring. Easier said than done. <sighs> okay, yeah, I think I do need to like trim off the front part a little bit. So I guess I just kind of wing it. <laughs> not funny. Well, if it would just go the way a natural eye would, that'd be awesome. I'm bending it. I think that that, I mean, that helps with eyelashes. Hopefully it'll help the same way. This is really difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm just estimating because I don't know what else to do. This is ridiculous. Oh, I estimated really good. I do remember from the video that you're supposed to keep your eye open when you put it on because otherwise it's not gonna, or it's gonna like not flex when you open your eye because your eye is like different when, oh, it's poking me. This thing is stiff. Oh, it's like poking the, ew, it looks disgusting. Ew, okay guys, sorry. Ew, I'm sorry, wow, what a fail. I thought it was working, but did you see how that looked? That was awful. Ew! I need to give this a chance though. I really want to like put them on. Okay, the front part does not want to stick on. And I have this giant gap between my lashes and the thing. But even on the video that I was watching, ew, and it's like turning down. I'm sorry guys, I can't do this. I can't do this. Ah! No. 
that this is the worst thing ever wow maybe this was a terrible idea you know what this is honesty though this is some serious honesty I'm just sticking it back on there I don't know why and who on this planet is gonna use this one it actually looks a little bit it does it looks totally cool on the front of the little box pamphlet envelope thing but it looks honestly it doesn't look like one of these things because these are like stiff they're like paper oh my gosh okay I'm sorry guys that was a total fail and I have no eyeliner on the top for absolutely no reason so I feel naked but you know what we got to move on we're just gonna move on to the violent lips and hopefully I'll have better luck with these things oh my gosh I'm so upset I really wish I could have made that work okay cross your fingers guys top lip you're supposed to look at what they look like they're enormous ah! I'm so scared I'm really scared all right so uh, pop the pre-cut top and bottom violet lips patterns out of the application sheet place the top lip stencil on the center of your top lip then open the mouth to a relaxed O shape Measure desired length to both corners of your mouth. Carefully trim the excess lengths on both sides using the printed marks as guides. Placing face slightly outside of your natural lip waterline. I didn't know your lip had a waterline. Okay, carefully trim the excess. center first this is these are the look at this this is like seriously no i hate this so essentially it's a lot like a just like a tattoo like you used to do like temporary tattoos when you're a little kid okay i actually have three in the stack awesome oh i can use these all the time oh and another thing they're supposed to they're supposed to last like four to eight hours oh crap okay to take them off you have to use like baby oil or like some kind of like oily makeup remover. Interesting. I'm peeling this. I'm not very good at doing things by a direction, so hopefully, hopefully that doesn't matter. Okay. It could be a mustache. <laughs> I have a glittery mustache. Check out my nails. That is one cool thing in this world. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you're supposed to do the whip. First, it's my relaxed O shape to there. I feel like I cut it too small. Okay. Okay. And there are, I didn't show you, but there are like guide marks on here. Oh my gosh, my camera's dying. I'm going to say like, let's do like the top one, right? Who knows? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, you guys. Okay, so I'm peeling off the little clear cover, just like on a regular little tattoo. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, this is way too big. All right, I'm sticking it. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. I wet this little paper towel. This is so ridiculous, you guys. Who wants glitter lips? Okay, I did not, whoa. Ah! It's like stuck on the paper. Oh my gosh, I feel like I got like a lip implant. Ew, this is seriously disgusting. Maybe if you had, whoa, maybe you've had like incredible like Angelina big awesome. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? I'm creeped out. I'm creeped out. Oh my gosh, and it's like way outside my lip line. I look like a crazy. And the side isn't sticking. I watched a video and they were like, oh, just stick it the water. Ew, look. It's all like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's like crinkling with my lips. It looks, from like far away, maybe it looks cool, like for like a photo shoot or something where they could like Photoshop it to make it look normal. Man, why not just like coat Ew, sick and you can see like the seam in there so clearly user error I cut it too big and I didn't wait long enough to get the corner stuck down should I do the other lip I think I'm gonna do the other lip 
my battery's dying and so I'm gonna do the other lip and then I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe I'm filming this. I look crazy. Oh my gosh, these are so gross. Have you ever seen the movie Party Monster? Don't rush out to go see it because you might be under 18 or something, but oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Oh my gosh, I am dying. They look maybe halfway acceptable in the camera, but the camera lies. Oh my gosh, it looks disgusting. Oh, and they smell weird and I'm freaked out. Oh my gosh, this was a total fail. And that sucks, I hate to just do a like completely negative video. I mean, nobody wants to do that, but at least you guys know because I'm gonna tell you the truth. Hated these, these are completely impractical. Maybe like for a photo shoot or something crazy like that where you can Photoshop them to make them look normal. They feel horrible, oh my gosh, it's so, okay, sticker makeup, final review. Final word on sticker makeup. Eyeliner, couldn't even get it to work. I'm sure like some awesome person with lots of hand-eye coordination could make it work because I've seen it in a video, people make it work. I can't make it work and I'm just a regular girl. The lips, um, obviously not. They, they look and feel awful. I can't wait to take them off. I'm serious. Oh my gosh. I feel really bad because I don't want to like throw anybody's product in the gutter, but seriously, oh man. Oh my gosh. I'm so upset right now. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, yeah. I don't know if I can just peel it off. Oh, this is disgusting. Yeah, look, I just peel it off. Okay, I'm going to peel this off off camera, but... All right, so yeah, I love Stick On Nails. The Encoco brand that you can get from Birchbox, huge thumbs up. But these two things, no, unless you're some kind of awesome professional with everything, I say just get your liquid liner and get your glitter lipstick because this is so not cool. So I have to end this video because I don't want to be filmed looking like this for any longer. Gosh, I'm being really dramatic. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. All right, so if you guys have any comments or questions, comment down below. If you wanna find out more information about anything, look in the description. You can always find me on Twitter. It's at Leanne Says. I am so sorry for making this video it's completely negative. It's so sad, but oh my gosh, I didn't know it was gonna happen, you know? It was like my first time, so I'm sorry. I'm like rambling, cause like I'm so shocked that this was such an epic fail. All right, so I guess that's it for me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I Hopefully it's a lot better video. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. Is that, oh, crazy. Okay, phenomena thing. So if the color is off right now, I'm gonna freak out. I don't think it is, because it looks scary. Okay, ooh, that makeup remover does not taste good, by the way. Okay, I don't know which one to do. So now I have to find scissors. Okay, well, I couldn't find my scissors yet again. Story of my freaking life. So annoying. Arr, I am dangerous right now. And I'm holding scissors. Okay, so why? No boy will ever kiss you with this stuff on your lips. It won't happen. And if he will, he is desperate and you should find a different guy. Why did I accept this? <laughs> Ew, it had some of the eyeliner on it. My camera likes to die like every time I try to do anything. I hate you, camera. Ooh, and I didn't wet my thing first. I'm, this is poor planning, poor planning. <laughs> oh, just right down here. Oh my gosh, okay, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so gross. Ew, ew. Does this look like a horror movie? Because it feels like one. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, Lord. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know what I did wrong. I'm just the wrong person for this stuff. Ew, this is so gross. I'm dying. I'm dying. This is so gross. I like horror movies, but not on my lips. Honestly, the bottom lip turned out better, but like, there's also a weird smell. I like happy smells on my lips.
like I'm not fussy about things like that I'm honestly you guys I'm not fussy about products and I do I'm not overly critical I tell you exactly what I think and things that work for me and things that don't work for me I should not have accepted these products this is disgusting <gasps> oh my gosh it doesn't hurt by the way this doesn't hurt it's just like kind of like peeling off a mask because it didn't like you know how if you get like a tattoo like a lip or like a you know a temporary tattoo like a regular one they, it won't peel off because it's not like a sticker like it's not like still like a sheet you know it kind of like meshes with your skin and it'll like wear off over time it's not really like that which honestly in this case I'm really happy it wasn't like that because I was able to peel it right off and I don't have to live with that anymore Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Okay, all right, that's it for real this time. Okay, bye.